Let's see, Heidi, good evening, how are you? Hello, good evening. Mr. Luis Sorellana, good evening, hello. Jose Rivas, how are you? Great, teacher. Thanks for asking. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Hello, Jose. I don't listen to you quite clearly. Give me a second. Okay. Hello, Jose. Hello, you hear me? Hello, good evening. Yes, I can now. How are you? So great. Thank you for asking, Tisha. What about you? Well, you know, here, same old story, working as usual. And ready to start another week. Yeah, right. <laughs> so. and Mondays are always a little bit hard, but well, tomorrow is uh, 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 holiday day. for me. What about for you? Is it a holiday in your company? Uh, no, so I have to work. So bad, but they pay you extra, right? Yes. So oh, I wanted to good. say that. Yeah, I wanted to say that I will get the, my day off. Tomorrow, so but I, actually, so that I require people because they have a lot of calls. 
incoming cold, so that's why they they need uh, our help. So it's good, right? Because it's double pay, but actually, it's... yeah, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. It's a holiday. Yeah, it's a holiday. So, but the good thing so is that it's Thursday and Friday, so I will rest. So that's why I was thinking. So, will be good. One more day, so that I had to wait, and then so I will enjoy my my rest, my my day off. Yeah, yeah, everybody. Everybody's like that. You have a day off. Uh, I mean, everybody's getting a holiday, and you not feels kind of uh, not that good, right? Yeah, no good. That's right. Well, look at it this way. The good thing is this. At least you will have the night off from the class. We are not having class tomorrow. Oh, uh, yeah. It will be nice. So because actually I feel like a little bit tired because they changed the schedule too. So really? I usually, yeah, I start my shift around 7 to 5 p.m. So in today, so I left my chief around 7 p.m. Yeah. yeah. It was not good. And the thing is that when they change, I mean, to get adapted to a new to a new schedule is always kind of complex, right? Yeah. So it's not the the the, the real schedule that I would have. So basically, they just they just needed my help. So or actually the all team help in order to cover those uh, hours like from six, no five to seven. So there I supposing that they are receiving a lot of calls on those those uh, times. So that's why they are moving schedules in order that they have everything good. So with no back to back with not a lot of calls because they will lose. So that is the thing that I actually understand. But I, I just have to okay. adapt myself in order to. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's tricky sometimes. Uh, I mean, companies, sometimes they, they ask for our help and it's not that easy for you to say no, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, well, but anyways, what can we do? Mm -hmm. I mean, part <laughs> of the game, right? For everything, yes, that's right. Okay, my friend, well, thank you and welcome. You're welcome, thanks for asking. Heidi, hello, how are you? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Alejandro Alfredo, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine, thank you. How's everything? Tell me. You ready for holiday? Are you having a holiday tomorrow? Yeah, yeah I'm ready. Today I went to the supermarket to buy bread and alcaparras and others. How do you say alcaparras? They got a, a weird name that I can't remember because I remember saying someone that uh, I hated them. Because really, uh, they are not my team. And they got a weird name, capers, capers, that's the name. And I went to uh, the mall to to buy a gift and a cake. Uh, so we're we're all ready to to the celebration of tomorrow. Okay. So do you mind do you mind me asking why do you need capers for what you cooking? Uh, turkey, turkey, turkey. Final compound. Oh really? Yeah. 
So, turkey uh, stuffed the, bread. Uh, for the sauce, sauce. Yeah. Uh, aceitunas and alcaparras. Okay. Mm. Olives, you mean? Olives and dates. Wow. So, do you like cooking? Do you enjoy cooking? Well, uh, I cook uh, with my help with the help of my mom, so it's not that that surprise. But uh, I'm learning to cook with her. Okay, well, that's cool. I mean, you are even better than me. I can prepare. I can prepare me a cup of coffee, and that's almost it. So you're way ahead of me. It's it's a challenge for me this year to learn to cook, and I believe that I have a great teacher or a master in in my house, which who is my mom, and I gotta learn from her a little bit. Because she's a she's a great cooker. That's cool. I mean, yeah, you can you can take advantage of that opportunity, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, thank you, Mister. Welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Let's see who else is around. Claudia, hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? are you? I'm doing well, you know. I don't know why since Saturday I have a, a it's not a pain on my right eye. Is uh, a, my eye is like red. I don't know how to say okay. it. <laughs> Enrojecido, no sé cómo decir que Yeah, está. reddish. Uh, well, actually, it's irritated. Yes, but uh, it's not itching. It's not, I don't have any pain. It's nothing. And I was also taking a look to my hyper, no, hyper tape, uh, my levels of hypertension, something. Yeah. And everything is okay. So, uh, the blood pressure, I, you mean? Hmm? The blood pressure, yeah. that's right. And everything is okay. And, and what happened is that my my doctor, the one that take care of my eyes, she's out of the country. But until tomorrow, I will go and see what's going on. She will be working, thanks God. And and I will be able to, to visit her. And, and on the other hand, ha I'm happy because on Saturday, I was able to start my classes for, how do you say? Sign language. Okay, sign language. I started on Saturday. It was a, <laughs> a challenge at the beginning, but it's so, I admire how uh, the, the teacher was able to communicate with everybody. We understood very well. <gasps> My God, I'm so surprised. And we've been... We were learning, I'm sorry, we were learning the alphabet and the greetings and what other thing. Oh, and how to say our names and stuff like that. So we need to practice. <laughs> but it's, I was so, so surprised how wonderful is our brain to understand whenever. Wait, I'm sorry, just, just one word. Writing, you mean? Writing? Huh? No, our Writing? brain. No, our brain. No, no, no. You told me that you were learning their, 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 their the the alphabet. Yes, the, the alphabet. alphabet and the writing. No, the the greetings. Okay. Oh, greetings, greetings. greetings. Mm -hmm. And the okay. greetings, the good night, good afternoon. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. Uh huh. And I'm, 
I was so surprised. It's amazing how our brains understand because it, there was just at the beginning of the class two minutes, uh, someone that as an interpreter saying the name of the professor and then uh, she went out of the, the meeting and then we were all with that. It's, it's incredible how they are able to communicate with each other. Yeah, yeah it's awesome. Actually, it is awesome. Yeah, I'm happy for that. And that's okay. What's the plan for tomorrow? Well, tomorrow uh, I usually work, but what happened is that I uh, they were uh, I was missing to take two days of vacation, so I took today and tomorrow, and I didn't know that in during the weekend I will be with this I situation. So I will take advantage that tomorrow I don't work, so I will go to the doctor and let's see what okay. happens. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. But I will rest. That's cool. That's cool. I mean, resting is very important and you gotta take care of your eyesight. Exactly, exactly. I hope not because to be, just not being in front uh, too long. Of the screen, of the yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it helps. Mm -hmm. It helps a lot. Well, rest. And the good thing is that tomorrow you don't, you don't even have a class, so. Exactly. You can take I will time. rest your computers. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's great. Thank you very much, Natalia, and welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Who else is around? Maria Alejandra, hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. I think that I feel fine. And it's good. You're good? Okay, that's nice. Tell me, what's for tomorrow? Um, I only have a plan uh, to have a lunch with my granny, my mother, and my aunt. Yeah, my aunt. For, to prepare a lunch. And... I think that only that I maybe when I try to um, to the restaurants or like this is very complicated because it's all the packed. Yeah, tomorrow is uh, gonna be packed everywhere. Yes, and maybe that the option is prepare or buy a food by. My mother said that uh, order very early and return to the house and then use a microwave for to warm the food. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because uh, my granny likes to Chinese food. And, yeah. Uh -huh, and maybe I buy tomorrow that's good yeah i love chinese food also <laughs> yes, I, I love, love chinese food. food i mean i eat a lot it's something that i really <laughs> really oh it's good okay so you're gonna have you're gonna have fun with your family that's great yes i only that i think that don't have more that's plans great. Okay, well, that's fine. Thank you very much and welcome. And you're working today. Hey guys, let me get the attendance before we move on. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Alejandro Alfredo Sagastume Díaz. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. 
Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Irina Susana Cuellar Odanés. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Soto. Present. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellano. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. En Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Okay, let's see. Uh, Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Hello, Heidi. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. How's everything? Tell me. Everything's going great. Okay. What about tomorrow? What you got for tomorrow? Uh, we're having lunch with our family. My sister is okay. coming. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. And what you gonna prepare? What are you ordering? Uh, no. We're going to prepare uh, bread with chicken. Okay. Uh -huh. Chicken stuffed bread. Chicken stuffed bread. That's uh -huh. cool. That's cool. That's cool. And that's going to be it. And we're having a cake. Oh, that's nice. That's different. You're having a cake. Oh, nice. You like cake? Not really. No, well, I'm like you. Not really. I mean, I can eat a little piece. But too much is like, oh, not my thing. I only like that. How do you say turron? Oh, I know that word, but I don't remember that word, to be honest with you. That's the only part that you got that you mm -hmm. like. Uh, I it's mean, the only part. Mm -hmm. The thing is that the no, but it's not that. Ah, it's not the nougat. Mm -hmm. Is it? Hmm. You got me there. Let me find out. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, now I got it on my mind. So it's you know the the the. the the engine is working. I try to remember okay. it because I, I know it. I know it, but I don't remember the word. To be honest with you. Better yet, I will take note of it. If I don't, I forget it. That way, I will remember. But it's it's right now in search mode, my brain. Okay, it's okay. Okay, and tell me. Hmm. Well, that's for tomorrow. So you got a holiday. Yeah, you're not working, right? Nobody's working. Okay. Mother's well, yeah, Day is considered of, holiday, just like Father's Some day. of your co-workers are work. Some of your classmates are working tomorrow. Are ready? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, some people here is working. <laughs> I'm so sorry for you guys. <laughs> yeah. Let's say we are sorry. No, we are. We are sorry for them. Yeah, I mean, it's so bad that you got to work, guys. But don't worry, we are going to enjoy the day for you. We will keep you in our minds. And Natal is like, yeah, whatever. Okay, well, Heidi, welcome to the class. Nice you get used to Thank work you, like teacher. in holidays, teacher. I don't know uh, what Jose Wilfredo thinks or, or my other uh, 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 mate for, for the company, but it's like you get used to work in those days. It is when you are at the office, it's something good because 
they give you the lunch, they pay you double all the day, but I don't know. It's... Yeah, I remember working many holidays all along my <laughs> life. I mean, in many different jobs I have had, I, that's not a, I you mean, use... holidays are, have never been like a, like a reason for me not to work, but tomorrow I ain't got nothing to do, so tomorrow is, it's really a holiday for me. Oh, good. Are you going to rest? No, I got to study for the university. I got my times coming. My God, the, the workaholic teacher. Okay. Yeah. So I got to be busy. Well, let's see, let's see. Let's see who else is around. Hey, Juan Carlos, how are you? How's everything? Hi. Uh, I'm so tired today because uh, I contact a mechanic to help me to uh, disassemble, wait, uh, yes, disassemble, like uh, disarmar. Yeah, disassemble. Disassemble, oh, yes, uh, a part of my motorcycle, but uh, I was helping him because uh, he told me that uh, that kind of work and on those motorcycles is not for one person. So, uh, I was there helping him and I just uh, ate at uh, 6 p.m. <laughs> and wow, well, today is my day off and so I wanted to rest. Uh, I wanted to get the news about my motorcycle that uh, I, uh, by once, um, it, it was going to be repaired by today, but not <laughs> so. Yes, <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, I know, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. So you working tomorrow? Oh yes, I have to work tomorrow. <laughs> but at oh. least it, it, it will be paid double, and I hope uh, the queue of the calls be uh, quiet. Yeah, perhaps, mm. perhaps. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. <laughs> Juan Carlos, welcome to the class. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Nice to you. Let's see. Hey, Jose Wilfredo, how are you? Hello, teacher. So far, so good. What about you, teacher? Maria. Yeah, you know, same old story, same old story as usual. And tell me, what about you? What's tomorrow for you? Uh, not tomorrow. I have to work, teacher. I don't have any It's a regular day. day. Yeah, like regular day. But double pay. Yeah, yeah. It's a double pay. That's the... Well, that's the unique the thing. The only motivation. Maybe, yeah. That's the unique thing that maybe has more value. But I will spend a time with my mother because, like, I began to work early at 6 a.m. Oh. So I live what like- you're gonna finish working? Like 4 p.m. Okay, so you will have some time to enjoy yeah. with your mama. That's cool. Yeah, that's right. That's cool, I mean, you have to make your best out of it. Yeah, that's right. So I have a time to enjoy with her. Yeah, that's nice, that's nice. Excellent, thank you very much. Mr. Ed, welcome. Oh. Roxana, hello, how are you? Hi, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Uh, so far, so good, teacher. Today, it was a um, interesting day because I did a lot of different things in my work and I checking new reports and have some meetings, but everything is okay. And after working, uh, I went to the gym and I just arrived in home. Oh, really? Yeah. That's nice. And what's tomorrow for you like? You working, you having a holiday? Well, uh, I think that I'm free tomorrow, but you know, I'm working from home and sometimes, if the boss 
is calling me, I need to answer. But in general, it's free day tomorrow. Just for uh, extraordinary, extra, uh, activities extraordinary, how do you say that? Yeah, extraordinary activities. Extraordinary activities, yeah. And, well, we were, we was, we were talking about that uh, we can visit some restaurants and go to Peque. Oh, really? Which one? Yeah, I, I don't remember, but they have a view since um, Ilopango Lake. Yeah, but, well, there's plenty. Vista, no, sé, vista, on... I don't remember the name, but it's a beautiful place. And the other, um, well, we we were uh, talking about two. The first one is in Cojutepeque, and the other one is near in the neighborhood. The name is El Bracero. Mm. Do you know the, that place? It's like no, a, really. a house with a um, piscina. How do you say piscina? Pools. Swing. Pool, sorry. Pools. Pools. With pools. And it's a interesting place because it's close to my house. And it's very, very calm. Okay. So tomorrow Sounds. we hop. We, we Resting. Okay, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. That's nice. And you can enjoy it with your mom. That's cool, no? Yeah. Yeah, you enjoy every day with her. Yeah, well, we have to um, celebration because uh, today is my son's birthday. And tomorrow is the Mother's Day. So I need to gift one for my mother and another for my son oh really yeah and imagine wow. i don't have them. i don't have any you don't have any what gift gift oh you won't be getting any gift <laughs> your son is a little kid yeah Maybe tomorrow I will to buy something in Plaza Mundo. I, I'm not sure. You're gonna give yourself a present. Yes, a present. So I hope uh, don't receive uh, extraordinary activities. Yeah, let's hope not. So you can enjoy your day. Yes. And you? Me, tomorrow, as I was telling your classmates, I'm going to be studying. I got the midterm this coming Saturday. Statistics. Mm -hmm. Okay, thing. Yeah. So, I'm going to be here at home. I don't usually go out that day. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a day to fall in all places. Yeah, everywhere is crowded, you know, a lot of people. I mean, yeah, I in some places you need to have made a reservation and yeah. and the traffic yeah. will be horrible so that's the reason why we are looking for a place close to my house yeah some areas traffic is going to be i mean if you want to go to a mall that thing is going to be packed yes we'll see we'll see as I tell you, tomorrow for me it's gonna be working, starting. I mean, and laundry. I have to do the laundry, and I also gotta. Well, early in the morning I gotta do the cleaning. Whenever I'm home, I I try to do the cleaning of the house early in the morning. Okay. Because Interesting. It, it's, it stressed me out to see the house dirty. Yes, yeah, I know. I imagine. Same so, for me, but it's complex because I live in front of the street, the main street. So we have a lot of uh, polvo. How do you say polvo? Yeah, dust. 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 Yeah. So the more, the most um, part of the time, 
I am in the second floor, but the dust is in everything. It's everywhere. Yeah, it's everywhere. Yeah, well, you know, let's see. Well, tomorrow we'll see how the day starts. Or perhaps if I go out, I go, I'll go like, you know, sometimes with my family, we just go for a drive. I mean, we get in the car, we hop in, and, and we see perhaps on the way we find a nice place. We stop, have some food, and then come back. But I don't know. I was listening that my son, I guess, got uh, training tomorrow because he's preparing for a fight in two weeks. Okay. So he's gonna he's gonna be fighting in two weeks, and I don't know if he's he's gonna have two fights the same day. So mm -hmm. he's on a heavy regime right now. Yeah, you will be busy. Yeah, and that's the other thing that uh, I mean, we cannot right now. We try not to tempt him with food because he needs to keep his weight mm -hmm. to be able to, to, to fight. So complex thing. They got me on a diet. <laughs> yeah, I imagine it. But you to but, try. Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not training. So why do I have to be on a diet? No, no. You know, for me, everything must be fried, deep fried. Mm -hmm. A lot of sugars and stuff like that. Good for you. Hey, Roxana, nice talking to you. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys, let's see. Still got time, you still got time. Just for uh, 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 hmm. something changed here. Give me just a second. Okay. Well, let's see. Uh, mm -hmm. It's the time for us to start doing another activity. We always have a little conversation. So we're going to talk today about a different topic. Okay. Okay. Now, guys, you know, right now, uh, you, I am designing, I am, no, not designing, designating you wedding planners, okay? In this moment, from this moment on, you are wedding planners. What are you going to do? Okay, the situation that you are going to be working with is this one. If you were planning your best friend's wedding for six months from now, First question, what would you start preparing this month? What would you do three months from now? And what would you say until the month before to do? Okay, you know, and I'll give you something, uh, no budget, okay? No limits on the budget. You got no limits, so tell me, how are you gonna do it? What would you do? This is a big activity. You will have 10 minutes working in groups to tell me how would you prepare it? Uh, what would you start and how? Not just what, but how, okay? I want you to, to discuss a little bit. Okay, you're gonna be working in groups of three members per room. Groups are created, please jump in.
No teacher, I guess that Luis isn't there. No, Luis is still there. Mm, but I... Oh, no, 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 yeah. No, he's got a little problem with the, with the mic. Don't worry, I'll change you from group, okay? Okay. There you go. Fernando, my friend, I'm sending you to a group. Good evening, teacher. I'm gonna send you to a group right right now. So you okay. can work with okay. a very, very interesting topic. Let's see. And okay, here you go. You got a group assignment already. So will freedom, my friend. I am so sorry. I made a mistake. Right now, I'm sending you where you were supposed to go. Okay, excellent, teacher. There you go. I'd like to to have the wedding. Okay, guys, I am getting married. It's my wedding, so oh, really? tell me what you gonna do. <laughs> I, I buy a lot of whiskey. Oh, <laughs> no, but I don't drink a lot. <laughs> I like it, but not, not but that way. Because it's on a special date. <laughs> yeah, but I don't like to get wasted, you know? <laughs> I mean, for Ooh. me, one or two shots. Mm. Wine? <laughs> the problem with wine is this. I like wine. But if you take too much wine, you end up with a headache. Ooh, the same as if you take too much whiskey. <laughs> you get the headache of your life. Yeah. Well, first of all, teacher, first of all, we were planning to send a message uh, for, for everybody will say save the date. Okay. And then we need to ask you uh, about your favorite places. Mm, but well, you what you need to prepare, the very first thing you need to prepare is the, the bachelor's party, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Let me go check on something there. Probably. Maybe I will rent the your as like uh, an hour for a live concert in in the hotel or the place you uh, we select for you to mm -hmm. invitate at your f uh, favorite uh, musician or something like that or the I don't know um, artist English. that you prefer to meet <laughs> met <laughs> oh, meet 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 hmm. that's interesting keep on keep on working I'll be back oopsie Steven welcome Imagine you are still driving. Stay connected, okay? No problem. Just stay connected. Hi, mister. Hello. I sent you to a group. Didn't you get the invitation? Well, if not... Sorry, mister, I can't. I... 
I didn't listen to you. I sent you an invitation to join a group. Did you get it? Uh, right now. Yep. I didn't receive anything or at least I didn't see. Okay, let me do something. I'll send you to a group and then I will switch you to another one so you can work. Okay. Well, no, yeah. I sent you to one group and you're going to stay in that one, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. By the way, Steven, I just got a question for you. Where did you study high school? Where am I studying? Where did you study high school? Uh, where? In the Univo. Uh, I'm from San Miguel. Yeah. Interesting. Well, I'm, never mind. I'll send you to a group right now. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. Never mind. It's just my mind is processing something. Don't worry. <laughs> no, no. Uh... Okay, how many how many bottles of scotch have you bought for my wedding? It's my wedding. It's my wedding. So. Oh my god. We are looking that with Roxana, Luis, Ramon. <laughs> you know, Ramon is engaged. It's, it's like a a practice. Oh really? <laughs> Man, you're engaged, Ramon? Yes. <laughs> okay. Be thankful. Uh, I don't know you that well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and please don't ask me, don't ask Roxana for advice, okay? Why not? <laughs> no. You don't even want to know, right, Roxana? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. No, congrats, Ramon. Good for you. Good for you. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, yeah. You know, a friend of mine used to tell me when I told him, when I told him, hey, I remember I was at the university and I told my friend, hey, you know what, bro? I, I'm getting married. And he was like, sure, sure. And his exact words were like, casas, casas, no solo yo tengo derecho a estar pegado. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's nice. It's nice. Well, no, congratulations. When's the wedding, Ramon? Have you set the date Actually, yet? No, 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 yet. I don't. We okay. don't have the date. That's nice. Look. You can keep it like that for a couple of years. Don't put That's him cool. afraid of nothing. No, he's, he's just an exercise for Ramon. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Now nah, you know you got here happily married people like Jose Wilfredo. Yeah. You can ask him. And his wife is right in front of him. He's going to say, yes, yeah, sure, no problem. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, you know, whenever you see me, well, this is to check out if I'm uh, uh, available to stock. Oh my God. <laughs> Good okay, to know. Yes. <laughs> Let me go check another group, guys. Keep on, keep on. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, until the last month before the wedding, um, what does we will do? Mm, until the one month, I think that is only only check if all the things are okay. Mm -hmm. For example, and, and if try, you eat... trying the the food. Right. Yes. Try the food. Yes. And 
medir el vestido. I don't know how can I say. Uh, Try check, no, check the dress. Check the dress and the measure, something like that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, to try on, try, try mm -hmm. on, I think. There is the word. And confirm, confirm different. For example, um, confirm the los anillos. Oh the rings. yeah, the rings, the rings. The, the so rings. you're getting married again, Irene? <laughs> the ring. <laughs> Irene. Okay. Um, what else? And buy the small things, for example, the shoes for her and buy. I think uh, uh, small things that that maybe is is necessary buy. Uh, I think example, that, that that shop. I think that shop is is early, very very early. Is earlier. I think no one month one month before. Okay. I think it's so late for you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I think the bright, uh, the bright in general are very, very, very um, special. Let's leave it that special. Yeah, and special don't get in way. trouble. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, believe me, you won't. Um, you won't. You don't. You don't want to get in trouble in in that kind of trouble. <laughs> yeah. Irene, you, you are were married? married? Okay. You are married, Irene? No, no, I'm a single woman. You're single? Yes. Okay. So, you have never been married? No, never. Cool. Keep like that. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what about you, Jose? You're single, right? Yes. And you, Danny? Yeah, I'm a single, but um, I'm almost in that. Yeah, I have a nah, nah, answer. <laughs> I have my okay. And <laughs> when is going to the 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 party? When's the hanging? When is going to be? Uh, I. Uh, please repeat <laughs> the question. How much time of freedom? <laughs> I guess she's asking. Um. I'm sorry, but I, I don't understand. I guess, the she's, I guess she's asking how long for the wedding. Ah, okay, okay. Um is on January 2023. Okay. Really? Okay. <laughs> Hi guys. Yeah. <laughs> you had six months oh. to think about it. Yeah. yeah, how old are you? <laughs> um, 31 years old. Yeah, you're young, man. Yeah, you're young. You know, <laughs> I got married. I got married when I was like, I don't know, 22, 23, I guess. Not wow. Yeah. Yeah, almost yeah. 20 so, years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, almost it's 20 good. years now. <laughs> is that time so, in life when it's a long <laughs> we <have to> while <laughs> a long while <laughs> yeah but you know yeah i mean there's as you say there there comes a moment when you when we bite the dust 
Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Irene is gonna trip one day and when she finds out she's married, she's gonna be like, no, what did I do? <laughs> right now she's like, yeah, yeah, no, no me, no me. The same goes for Jose, you know, one day he will be like calm and relaxed with his friends and next year he's gonna be like, yeah. Mariel, you know. Yeah. Yeah, but when <laughs> you realize, well, look, I mean, I, I think to be honest with it, you, to, yeah. to be honest with you, 20 years have been like nothing for me. I mean, there has been good years, bad years, but in the end, I mean, time flies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the time goes I think by. The, the, marriage, the marriage for her is like a victory. I don't know. <laughs> I don't and know tell why. me, Danny, are you planning on kids? Um, by the time, no. <laughs> Not at the moment. Not at the moment. Okay. We have to think in very, very, very deep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's think. a very serious decision. Because it's a great responsibility. Yeah, you know, Irene I think, was telling me she was planning on having like five or six. You told me, right, Irene? Oh, <laughs> wow. Irene. Hello. You were telling me you were planning on five or six kids, right? <laughs> she was like, no. Oh, no. A basketball she doesn't. Team. She doesn't deny it. I think. Uh, yeah, yeah. She's thinking about it. She's thinking. She's about thinking it. about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, five kids, cool. Oh. <laughs> no, having kids is nice. You know, it's just the first year that you don't sleep well, and then perhaps the following nineteen or twenty more years, but yeah. easy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you work. You know, if Danny keeps on talking with me, he's gonna say like, no way. <laughs> uh, no, no.
Okay, 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 let's see. Give me just a second. Sorry guys, just fixing something, little something here. Okay, now, 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 let's see. Uh, we need to make this discussion. We're gonna make it short, three minutes. Then we're gonna do the conversation from the manual. And tomorrow we are working with uh, conditionals, grammar. Let me check on my lesson plans just to let you know. No, well, not tomorrow, following the class. Tomorrow, uh, right? Wednesday, yeah. Day after tomorrow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I see text and everything. Yeah. Day after tomorrow, guys. Teacher, don't scare me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Tomorrow we work with, well, we're going to be working with uh, first conditional for a couple of days. Just let me check on something because I want to do an extra activity. But actually, I was modifying the lesson plan. Okay, yeah, perfect. Well, today we are going to, just to see the information, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Today we're gonna check a little information about the, the conditional, but uh, actually what I want to, I will explain this week we're going to be working with the first condition of the whole the whole week but I have a topic that I will like to introduce for you in conversation that uh, I guess it's very important for you and it's a little bit of a different activity the one that we are going to perform like uh, with some of you, we will have a job interview, okay? In English. Like, uh, I will be asking you questions that you usually, that you could have on a job interview, okay? And it's gonna be interesting, a little bit tricky for some of you, but you will enjoy it. Now, let's see, first off, tell me, Heidi, how's the wedding? I guess we should have asked you first, but since you told us that we we don't have any limits, talking and about no limits. budget. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, we're being reasonable. Say, uh -huh. mm, I don't think so. Because, okay. uh, well, first of all, we're going to send a message to save the date for all the persons that we are going to invite. And your wedding is going to be on the Greek islands. Okay, cool. We're going, we're going to invite Bon Jovi. Nice. Who? So that he's Bon Jovi. Mm, yeah, acceptable. <laughs> Hope you like him, teacher. Okay. And uh, Juan Carlos is going to explain the bachelor's party. It's going to be okay. in Las Vegas. <laughs> okay, Juan Carlos, tell us. No, she's kidding. No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> okay, Juan Carlos, tell me what else? What else? What you got? Okay, to the Vegas. I'm planning to take you to the best club night. Uh, yes, club night uh, in there. And uh, by the way, I, I'm going to pay all the drinks. Nightclub. Mm, nightclub. It's yes. nightclub. Okay, in Vegas. <laughs> 
<laughs> Believe me, that's dangerous, pretty dangerous. You don't want to let me lose in Vegas. No, no, no. no At the no, same no, time, no, will no. be the divorce. What happens in yeah. Vegas stays in Vegas, teacher. Don't worry. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever. Being there, don't that got the teacher to prove it. No way. <laughs> okay, well, interesting, interesting. Let's see, let's see, because I have a, just a few minutes. Uh, where's, where's Steven? Steven, tell me what you got for me. What were your classmates talking about, about the wedding? Hi, Mr. Uh, first of all, I tried to get the idea because I get late. I got late. And they were talking about your wedding, right? Yeah. Uh, but at the yeah, I think at first, I, I, I think that they were talking about uh, like a single party, <laughs> uh, something like that. I don't know if this is the way to express like uh, in Spanish is the despedida soltero. I was thinking that they were talking about, but I, I was, I was wrong. The bachelor's party. Yeah, bachelor's party. Thank you, because they were talking about something crazy uh, party. <laughs> that's what that's what I, I I was wrong, but they described something interesting in the Vegas with a lot of drinking, uh, alcohol, and food, and I don't know what else, but something like that. Okay, something cool. Well, yeah. yeah. Be uh, mm -hmm. That's cool. That's cool. Excellent. Thank you, guys. And I know I was checking, uh, yeah, Jose Wilfredo says that he's in, coming in. <laughs> okay, well, cool, guys. Uh, I was checking some groups, and you were doing pretty well. And remember, the, the, the idea is for us speaking in English. And I found out some sad news. A couple of your classmates are getting married soon. I mean, good news, good news. And it's going to be nice. Interesting. No, for real, some of your classmates are getting married. Interesting. But now, guys, we're going to go to the manual, as I told you. And we got a couple of things to do in the manual that are very interesting. First of all, uh, you got your manual handy. We're going to start talking about management and conflict. Okay. So we will go to the manual to page number 17. You got it handy. If not, I will share the screen with you so you can check it out here. Okay. Conflict. We have us here a couple of interesting questions. Like, look at the first one it says, do you think conflict is a normal part of any social and organizational setting? Oh my guys, I'm sorry guys, I need to get the attendance. I didn't get it. My bad, my bad. Let me get the attendance real quick. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Alejandro Alfredo Sagasco Medias. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Gracias, teacher. Thank you. Danny Josue Garcia Martinez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancia. Fernando Marvin González Martinez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Liliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Irene Susana Collar Albanes. Present. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. 
Roxana y Beta están en Ciudad de Mejía. Roxana. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Kion. Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Ok, let's see. Ileana, welcome. Yeah. Oh, well, she's just arriving home. Let's see, Fernando. Fernando, I got a question for you. Yes, well, actually, the question that is in the manual. Do you think conflict is a normal part of any social and organizational setting? Uh, yes, teacher. It, it, it's usual because the, the organization of social, social living, for example. Okay, so... Uh, it's related with... Yeah. with Many people and every peop every every people have different opinions. For okay. example, Francisco told us in the in the in the activity, the before activity, that when when she when, sorry when he married, he has a discussion with uh, his sister about the organization. Okay. Perfect, thank you very much. Now let's see. Talking in a job environment, Irene. Hello? Tell me, what happens if conflict is left unresolved at work? I think that is, I think that affects the productivity because oh. the, um, the employees can to be produced, produced yeah. uh, with, with conflict because affect the environment. And okay. the job environment. The job environment and they can feel well working at a company. I okay. think. Perfect, perfect. Let's see, now. We got us a situation there for a conversation that we are going to practice right now on the manual. Let me share with you and okay. Read this conversation. As you read it, pay attention to the conflict it features and the possible solutions to it. It's a big conversation, okay? Now, first, let's watch the situation here. Oops, I'm sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad. Richard is the CEO at a, at a niche, at, a, at his source. And he wants his sales and financial manager, Sally and Hugo, to work together. Richard knows that they don't communicate effectively and that their leadership values are very different but he knows he needs to do something to improve their teamwork. Richard invited both to his office and their mutual resentment was apparent. So you see, it's a very difficult situation. Let's look at the conversation. How did it go? And Richard goes like this. Richard, I understand you would like us to work together. But if possible, please pair me up with another of the managers. I can stand how she allows her subordinates to do whatever they want. Why are you always attacking me in meetings? What are you talking about? I don't do that. You just did it. Hugo, could you please tell me what you admire about Sally? Well, she, I have to admit that her reports are extremely accurate and that her sales, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And that her sales department handles work without delay. And Sally, what do you appreciate about Hugo? He did a great job increasing sales by 15% uh, this month with his business approach. I know you two have different personalities. 
If you both had not contributed to our projects, we wouldn't have had such growth last year. From now on, remember what you just said about each other to help the company continue to grow. Let me pronounce again for you guys. Richard, I understand you would like us to work together, but if possible, please pair me up with another of the managers. I can't stand how she allows her subordinates to do whatever they want. Why are you always attacking me in meetings? What are you talking about? I don't do that. You just did it. Hugo, would you please tell me what you admire about Sally? Well, she, I have to admit that her reports are extremely accurate and that her sales department handles work without delay. And Sally, what do you appreciate about Hugo? He did a great job increasing sales by a 15% this month with his business approach. I know you two have different personalities. If you both had not contributed to our project, we wouldn't have had such growth last year. From now on, remember what you just said about each other to help the company continue to grow. Okay, guys. Let's see. In this case, the conversation is going to be done a little bit different. Let's see. Anna Claudia, you are Sally. My God. Okay. <laughs> Fernando, you are Hugo. Okay. And Danny, you are Richard. Ready, guys? Mm -hmm. Ready. Yeah. Oh, okay. Perfect. Let's do it. Richard, I understand you would like us to work together, but if possible, please pair me up with another of the manager. I can't stand how she allows her subordinates to do whatever they want. Why are you always attacking me in meetings? What are you talking about? I don't do that. You just did it. Hugo, Hugo, will you please tell me what you admire about Sally? Well, she, I have to admit that her reports are extremely accurate and that her sales department handles work without delay. And Sally, what do you appreciate, appreciate about Hugo? He did a great job increasing sales by a 15% this month with his business approach. I know you two have different personalities. If you both have not contribute, 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 contributed, contributed sorry, to our project, we won't have had such growth last year. From now on, remember what you just say about each other to help the company continue to grow. Perfect, guys. Thank you. Just remember, Danny, what you just said. Okay, what you just okay. said. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Now, let's see. Francisco, you are Hugo. Uh, Heidi, you are Sally. And Irene, you are Richard. Okay. Start, please. Richard, um, I understand you would like us to work together, but if possible, please pair me up with another of the managers. I can't understand how she allows her subordinates to do whatever they want. Why are you always attacking me in meetings? What are you talking about? I don't do that. You just did it. Hugo, would you please tell me what you admire about Sally? Hugo. That's the problem, T. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> she said Richard's line. <laughs> yeah, you say the Richard's line. Maybe. Who's Richard? Who's me? There's Heidi, there's Ana Claudia, Heidi, and Irene. No, no. So, no, I'm not in this conversation. You're not in this conversation. Hold on, hold on. It's just that some of you open your mics. And when you open your minds, it's a problem. It's uh, uh, okay. There's let's just start again. Let's see. I got Irene. You are. I'm going to start. Okay, you are star. You are okay. Hugo. Okay. Heidi, okay. you are Sally, right? Right. And who was it? And me? No. Uh, Francisco, you are Richard. You ready, Francisco? Yes, teacher. Okay, please, let's do it. Richard, I understand you would like us to work together, but if possible, please pair me up with another of the managers. I can't stand how she allows her subordinate to do whatever they want. Why are you always attacking me in meetings? What are you talking about? I don't do that. You just did it. Who? Would you please tell me what you admire about Sally? Well, she, I have to admit that her reports are extremely accurate and that her sales department handles work without delay. And Silly, what did you appreciate about Hugo? He did a great job increasing sales by 15% this month with his business approach. I know you two have different personalities. If you both had not contributed to our project, we would have had such growth last year from now. Um, remember what you just say about each other to help the company continue to grow. Okay, contributed, contributed. Thank you very much, guys, very well done. Now, Jose Rivas, Jose Wilfredo, and Juan Carlos. Jose Rivas, you are Hugo and Jose Wilfredo, you are Sally and Juan Carlos, you are Richard. Okay, Richard, I understand you would like to, sorry, I understand you would like to us to work together, but if possible, please pair me up with another of the managers. I can understand how she allows her suborning sub race subordinate to do whatever they want. Why are you always attacking me in meetings? What are you talking about? So I don't do that. You just did it. Perfect. Perfect. Hugo, would you please tell me what you admire about Sally? Well, she, I have to admit that her reports are extremely accurate and that her sales department handles work without delay. And Sally, would you appreciate about Hugo? Oh, no, sorry, sorry. And Sally, what do you appreciate about Hugo? He did a great job increasing sales by 50% this month with his business approach. I know you two have different personalities and you both have not contributed to our projects. We wouldn't have had such growth that year from now on. Remember that you just said about each other to help the company continue to continue. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No sé qué me pasa. Continue, Continue to grow. Grow. Yes. <laughs> sorry. No sé qué me pasa. Perfect. Thank you. No problem. No problem. Excellent. Now, Marcos, María Alejandra, and Ramón. Marcos, you are Hugo. María Alejandra, you are Sally. And Ramón, you are Richard. Okay. Good. 
Richard, I understand you would like us to work together, but if possible, please pair me up with another of the manager. I can't stop. I can't stand how she allows her subordinates to do whatever they want. Why are why are you always attacking me in meetings? What, what are you talking about? I don't do that. You just did it. Hugo, Hugo, would you please tell me what you admire about Sally? Well, she, I have to admit that her reports are extremely accurate and that her cell department handles work with, without delay. And Sally, what do you appreciate about Google? He did a great job increasing sales by 50% this month with his business approach. I know you two have the different personalities. If you both had not contributed to our projects, we would have had such growth last year. From now on, Remember what you just say that said about each other to help the company continue to grow. Okay, perfect. Very well done. Thank you, guys. Now, Roxana, you are Hugo. Steven, you are Sally. And Suleyma, you are Richard. Okay. Let me see. Richard, I understood you would like us to work together, but if possible, please pair me up with another of the manager. I can't stop how she allows her subordinate to do whatever, whatever they want. Why are you always attacking me in a minute? What are you talking about? I don't do that. Uh, you just did it. Suleyma? Hugo, would you please tell me what you admire about Sally? Well, she, I have to admit that her reports are extremely accurate and that her sales department handles work without delay. And Sally, what do you appreciate about Hugo? Mm, he did a great job increasing sales by a 16% this month with his business approach. I know you two have different personalities. If you both have not contributed to our projects, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have had such growth last year. From now on, remember what you just said about each other to help the company continue to grow. Perfect, thank you very much, guys. Uh, Roxana, accurate, accurate. Accurate. Yep. Okay, guys, now, 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 now. We will get to that later on the week, but let's make just a little review. How to use the first conditional. We are in your manuals in page number 20. We have jumped a little bit ahead because uh, um, I'm asked to, to explain a little bit of this. Conditionals. Okay, before we get into this, the first type of conditionals. When do we use it? If you remember uh, the zero conditional, this is a, a fact, okay? But in this case, we're talking about the first type of conditional. And the first type of conditional got a very interesting name, you know? It is called the, the future possible. And it goes like this. When we are talking about the future possible, we are expressing a, a very specific idea something that if the condition becomes true in the present, the result will be seen in the future, okay? Like, uh, you know, if Ileana invites me for proposals, I will tell her no. The condition 
in present. You see, if she invites me for proposals, I will tell her no. Future. Okay. Remember, in this case, we are talking about two sentences. And each sentence is dependent on the other one. Remember that when we talk about conditional sentences, we have two clauses. Conditional clause, result clause. Okay, let me get it on the on the board for you. That's gonna be easier for you to, to follow. Just bear with me that sometimes I get lost. Stop. Okay, we are talking, remember. First type of condition is, close, is called future possible. Okay, now, something that we have to remember is that we have two clauses, okay? the conditional clause also close also called the if clause and we also have the result clause this goes for all conditionals in all conditional sentences, you have the conditional clause and the result clause, okay? Now, in this case, in the future possible, when we are talking about the conditional clause, always, all the time, the structure goes with if plus simple present tense. Then, if they follow this order, you get right here a comma to divide them clauses. If they follow this order, because if you place the result clause first, you don't need the comma, but that's for later. Then, for the result clause, you have always and simple future okay simple simple future things now the sentence i just gave you i just told you if eliana invites me for proposals comma, remember this comma is mandatory because I started with the if clause, okay? I will tell her no, thanks, but not thanks, okay? Then if you see in this case, simple present, Express it right here. Simple future. Right here, I have the auxiliary for the future tense. Okay. And what I was telling you was that if, I'm sorry, was that if you change the order, you don't need the comma. I will tell her no, or I will tell Ileana. I will tell her no if she invites me for purposes. Simple, right? In this case, you see, I changed the order because we can do that, but the comma got erased. That's something very important, this comma. So you can change the you can change the order and always remember, we are talking about clauses here. What is a close? It's a complete sentence, okay? Now, in this type of conditional, that is the first type of condition, okay? Remember, we are talking about here the, the first condition. It's the future possible. If the condition becomes true in the present, the result will be seen in the future. Something else that we need to remember is that when we are talking about conditional sentences, we are talking about uh, something that 
In grammar, we say that it belongs to the subjunctive mood. Let's make it simple. We are talking about something that is contrary to fact. Okay? It is not real. As simple as that. It's not real. It's contrary to fact. Now let me paste the, the, this little image I was just working. And before I, I move forward, tell me guys, any question? No teacher. Okay, perfect. Yeah, you know, Elena, don't invite me for pupusas, please. I'll say no. Just try, I'm just trying to get you the, the screenshot so you can save it. But I mean, this thing is crazier than. Okay, guys, there you go. That was the best I could do at the moment. Okay, so remember, we are talking about something that is contrary to fact, it's opposite to reality, it's not real. Whenever we talk about conditionals, they are not real. If the condition becomes true in this case, the result will be seen in the future, okay? Now, uh, in some situations, some people, you will hear that instead of using will, they will use would, okay? Some people do that in this situation. Like if uh, if I if I win the lottery, ah, if I win the lottery, I will buy uh, I will buy a new house. But remember that would is used to express a future possibility. So we are still talking about simple future. Okay, remember. Will is used in this case to express a future possibility. If I say, if I win the lottery, I will buy me a house. But the most correct grammatically is will. So let's go back to the book. Okay. So we, it says here, Use the first conditional if plus simple present. You see the comma, will plus infinitive, right? Simple present plus model infinitive to talk about situations which, which have a result in the present or the future. Now, here is the first structure that I explained it to you. You start with the if clause, then you have the conditional, okay? Now, it says here, if simple present plus modal plus infinity. In this case, this that you got here is what I told you, would. If I win the lottery, I will. Will is the model. I will buy me a new house, okay? Remember that whenever you get a model after the model verb, you always will have a verb in infinitive form. Now look at this. If an argument is out of control in the office, I will try to help my coworkers calm down. If I see an employee bullying a coworker, I will tell the manager. I will try to help my coworkers calm down if an argument is out of control in the office. I will tell the manager if I see an employee bowling a co-worker. You see what they just did here is change the order. In this case, you started with the if clause. In this case, you started with the result clause. And that's what you got here in the explanation. When the sentence begins with the if segment, a clause, it is necessary to write a comma after it. If the sentence begins with the result segment, the result clause, 
it is not necessary to add a comma after it. Now, with infinitives, if you get too angry, you may stop a moment to relax. If you feel angry, take time to relax. In this case, it's the imperative. Why do they have the imperative here set apart? Because remember, with the imperatives, you don't need a subject. You always know that the subject is you. And remember guys that the imperatives are the exception to the rule. Uh, in English, most of the time, you will always need a subject for a sentence in its structure. But with imperatives, you don't. With imperatives, the subject is always you. And it's one of the few situations where in English, you don't need to say it or write it. One of the few, because if you remember when you were studying basic structures of all the sentences, simple present, simple past, continuous tenses, perfect tenses, you always have to place the subject. That's like mandatory, that's a given in English, with the exception of imperatives, okay? It's like the same goes with let's, let's work, let's jump. You know that the subject in that case is we, but those are exceptions, okay? Questions up to now? Okay. If you got any doubt, don't worry. Along the week, we will have many days to work with conditionals, okay? But uh, it was good for us to check it out right now, the, the grammar, because we are going to use it for the exercises from the platform that some of you haven't done yet for section number one. So please, guys, do them because we are already in section two. Okay, now. Now, 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 now. Let's jump to the next activity. Conversation. Okay. Now we're gonna get in some situations a little bit heavy. So remember. Let's practice, guys. We're all here, so let's relax. And let's start. Okay, Heidi, hello, good evening. Please open your mic. Hi. Heidi. Hello. Hello, tell me, Heidi, are you a good manager? I think so. <laughs> Okay, can you give me some examples, please? Uh, well, uh, I see my success in in promotions, so that means I take uh, I care about about my team's development. Okay, perfect. Okay, and tell me in your in your position, do you have to interview people for hiring? Huh. I I have interviews for for hiring sales representers and also tellers. Okay, now tell me, um, what do you look for when you hire people? I look for people who is who has uh, compromises. Uh, that they know exactly what they want to know. And what have you ever had to fire people? Ah, uh, sure, man. So many things, so many times. Okay. So many How times. did you handle the situation? When the relationship is over, is over. You don't have to say too much things. Jokes just to express that the relationship is over. And the okay. reason and and sign sign paperwork. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. And just one last question. What do you think is the most difficult thing about being a manager? To deal with different characters. Believe me, it is it is not that easy. Okay. Thank you very much.
we're going to take into consideration for a higher spot. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Heidi. Perfect. Okay, let's see, Marcos, you are trying to apply for a for a, uh, a spot in in Ileana's company, and you know, Ileana is going to ask you a couple of questions. Okay. Okay. Okay, Marcos, can you tell me something about yourself? Hmm. Um, I am a practice professional. I am very responsible with my tasks. I always try to, to do my tasks on time, right on time. And I am a honest person. And I always look for learn by in, in every day learn by doing new things and I'm always able to or willing to face new challenge. Okay, that's great. So tell me, why do you want to work for us? Uh, because I think this enterprise has um, a good reputation in, uh, in in the global market, and I want to to get some uh, experience working in this in this field of sales. And yeah, I want to add some new experience to my uh, curriculum. Okay, that's cool. Thank you, Marcos. Thank you, Liana. Great, well done. Okay, Danny. Danny is interviewing right now to Fernando. And Fernando, Danny is going to ask you a couple of questions. Okay. Um, okay. Sorry, uh, my internet is is not good right now. Um, I have to ask. Uh, uh, to Fernando if you check in the chat, the I just send you. I just send you the questions. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Fernando, this one. Uh, what can you do for us? that someone else can't? Oh, I can offer you my, my experience in technician, technology and development and the races and I don't know. Uh, do you believe me? Do you, you will not regret to contract me? Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, what do you find most attractive about this position? Uh, the opportunity to grow in my professional area and make the company uh, better. Okay. Thank you, guys, both of you. Okay. Now, uh, let's see, Irene. Hello. Hello, Irene. Uh, right now, we're going to ask a couple of questions. If you check in the, in the chat, I've given you two questions that we are going to ask right in this moment to Mr. Osmin. Okay, Osmin, hello. Hello, Irene. Hi, uh, what do you look 
for in a job, Osni? So I'm looking for, for a good environment. So in order to develop my skills. So and I'm not so working with, with you. So I will find the best environment. Okay. And what about the salary? Okay, my salary is potential <laughs> one thousand dollar. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, excellent. And tell me, uh, why did you leave your last job? So I was working taking calls. So, so I was handled with some type of customers and as well I have experience working in a self account. Okay, the question is why did you leave for Tedeco your last job? Uh, okay, I understood why do you do? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. So, okay, so I left my last a job so in order to find what a good opportunity for a new company in order to uh, develop so and also to find a good schedule because i i want to like study so in a different career in order to get more knowledge so that's why so i left my work to find a better uh, position or a better company in order to work perfect okay. thank you very much both of you excellent 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 so now Jose Wilfredo one teacher second your zoom chat please okay Okay, Ana Claudia. Hello. Hello, good evening, Ana Claudia. Good evening. Don't sleep. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't sleep. Okay, the question is the next. What are your long range goals? What are my? What are your long range goals? Closes. Goals. Goals. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. The sound is breaking down. Uh, my goals. Oh, my God. Uh, am I supposed to apply to a, <laughs> to a position, right? Yeah. Uh, my goal is to get the most revenue as I could. <laughs> I don't know, I, I to, to have a win-to-win -win situation with you and me uh, to win both. Mm -hmm. Yeah, win a win. A win-to-win -win situation, yes. Mm. Uh, you win, I agree with your policies, with your um uh, daily task to accomplish but i also want to win my day off <laughs> on weekends <laughs> okay mm -hmm. so how successful have you been so far oh i've been i've been a good stand I've been always achieving my goals. Uh, if we're talking about achieving revenue goals, I always achieve more than 150%. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why do you want to work for this company? Because I like what you do and the, what you sell. I love the product 
and I like but you know what management. Mm -hmm. You know what whistling uh, some toilets. Toys. Toilets. Toilets. Uh, yes, I yes, like, so, I like, you I like so them. You are so evil. You are so evil. <laughs> I like them. You know, what? you know what? I like them because everybody needs to have a toilet. What do you do? One comfort <laughs> toilet. Hmm? Okay. Thank you, guys. Very well done. Maria Alejandra, your turn. That's a yoki. I know. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Check your Zoom chat. Uh, mm, I only see the wheel as Roxana. Okay, you only see that. Then we get you again the questions. Can you see them now? Ah, uh, okay, it's the same. Okay. Yeah. Hi, Roxana. Hi. Hi, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. What are you long range carried of objects? What is? What, what are you are? long? What are? your long range career objectives for a job yes i think well um i hope uh, be a manager in the future and have my accounting team in a good a company Okay, and if you have the opportunity to decide what will you do in the future, uh, I don't know, you work in the same professions or like this? Not right, maybe I change my profession. Well, uh, I think that uh, we need to um, find a good company to growing in that in there so if you don't if you don't find a good company it's complex um growing out in a job uh, things so uh, but in my case if i could choose maybe i choose another career uh, or um i don't know always looking for a best work, best company, and work in the same, in account payable. Okay, thank you, Roxana. Okay. <laughs> thank you, guys. Very well done. Excellent, excellent. I hope you have enjoyed the activity and it was pretty good watching you asking each other actually and and i enjoyed that some of you did some follow-up questions or perhaps some of you introduced like a connector you didn't just go like question then another question and that's always important remember we need connectors in order to ease the passage between one phrase or one question and the other and in this case, to make the conversation more like uh, real, okay? Incredible. And that's very important. I appreciate it. You were, you were doing very good. And Steven, I need to ask forgiveness of you. Uh, you were supposed to present your topic today, right? Um, but the, the time is not enough. Uh, is it okay for you to present on Wednesday? <laughs> it's even better for me. Yeah. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so for Wednesday, I got two people. For Wednesday, I got Steven and I got Ileana, right? Yeah, it's... Oh, happy birthday tomorrow, Ileana. 
And happy Mother's Day for, let's see, who? Who, who? Roxana and Aire. What's the mothers do I have here? Who? Okay, Thanks. now. Thank you, teacher. That's uh, Eliana, Steven. Then I got Fernando. When, teacher? Thursday, please. Thursday. Okay. And Irene, you go Friday. Okay. Perfect, guys. Very well. I, actually, to be honest with you, this has been one of the fastest class I have had. We have too many things to consider today. Nice. And I hope you enjoy the part of asking and answering because from now on, a couple of classes, it's not me, the one who's gonna be asking the question, it's gonna be you asking each other. I, just, I will just tell you to whom, and I will give you one or two questions. And in some situations, I will ask you to create one extra question, okay? A follow-up one, because you need to do it. And we are going to be studying in specific topics. Like today, we were working about job interviews, okay? I have a bunch of topics that we can be working on. And believe me, it's going to be interesting for all of us to be answering like, like if we were in a real situation, okay? It's going to be good for you. Let me get the final attendance, please. Uh, Maria Alejandra, please stay up second at the end. Uh, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Alejandro Alfredo Sagastume Díaz. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present teacher. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan, Juan Carlos Romero López. Present. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Ibeda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Present. Suley Maibón Moreno de Hernández. Guys, as usual, uh, a pleasure to have you here. Enjoy your holiday, the ones who are having holidays, the ones who don't, well, enjoy your night of the class. And see you on Wednesday. Take care, guys. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. See ya. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, teacher. Good night, everybody. Well, well, well. <laughs> There's Maria Alejandra. Long time no see. Well, I never see you again. Teacher, did you know what? Mm. Uh, oh my gosh, now I see you. <laughs> Hello, how are you? <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, you? I'm just great, just great. Look, I got a little something. Don't worry, I won't take you that much time. But I got a little something for you to work and practice on, okay? Okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. See. You're working on your computer right now or your cell phone? It's in my, in my cell phone. Okay. You're in the cell phone. 
Yes. Okay, so in order for you to say this, I will send it to directly to your chat, to the WhatsApp, okay? okay. Okay. I need you and what I sent you, okay? I need you to go to the, uh, if you're in there, you're gonna see grammar explanation, how to make the verb tense. If you go a little bit down, you scroll down, how to use the verb tenses, okay? And how to use the verb tenses. Uh, how to use. Yeah. It goes like, uh, I mean, right in the one that I sent you, it is spread a long list, right? Yes. First one in red says how to make the verb tenses. If you go uh -huh. scroll down, you will get to how to use the verb tenses. In uh -huh. there, the difference is this. In the first one is structure. In the second is the meaning, the idea you express with each tense, okay? I would like you just to check them, okay? Just like a little review for you. And because like in two weeks, one week before we finish, I will send you, I will ask you specifically on the same list all the way down, to do some little things, some special things, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. So that's like a homework for you, but remember, as I have always told you, five to 10 minutes a day, because don't try to push it, okay? <laughs> I need yeah. you to start, I need you to start practicing a little bit more. You are doing good, but I want you to do better. Yes, teacher, I try, remember, <laughs> I don't know, I have a lot of changes and I feel. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's been uh -huh. difficult for you. Uh -huh. It's more difficult. Stressful, mostly. Uh -huh. I think that, but I try to, to dedicate 10 minutes all the days for improve my English. <laughs> Great, great, great. My dear, always a pleasure to have you here. Hey, tell me, do you have any question? Mm. Any topic that you have not understood that you would like me to help you with? I think that no. I do the, the platform and I don't have a lot of problems. Let me check how you are doing on the platform because... Oh, I haven't seen it. Maria Alejandra, she has done nothing, it says here. <laughs> no, teacher, yesterday I worked in a platform. <laughs> yeah, you got the first section complete. Uh -huh. But I try to, to give more or, or uh -huh, get more vocabulary because I think that in different units is a different and maybe I forgot a uh, import word important words. <laughs> that happens to all of us. Uh -huh. But I think that I can I think that I don't have problems. I maybe when I try to use a uh, that conditional, but the, the same. Uh -huh. and, but uh, the, my problem is at the verse. I try to remember that the, the forms too. Okay, if you go down in the same list, you will get the conditionals. Uh, okay. okay. Let's do I something. Think. Let's do something. Uh, actually, you know, that explanation that appears there is the one that I'm going to share with the class in this week. Wait a little bit, let me explain it to you. And if you got any question after that, let me know, but text me, ask me, hey teacher, I don't understand it, help me out, okay? Yes, teacher. <laughs> do it, please do it. That way I can know where to help you, okay? 
Yes, okay, teacher. Thank you. My pleasure. Well, I guess that's it. And Alejandra, a pleasure. Bye bye. Take care. Bye, teacher. Good evening. Same to you. Good night. <laughs> I'm just going to wait a couple of seconds to wrap it up. One. Okay. Next class. Take care.